Good morning, everybody. My name is Michael King, and I'm the owner-operator of the Arizona Life Size Graph. And it's brought to you by Radioactive Antennas, which is the company I also run, which build, we build uh, small ham radio antennas and accessories. Uh, this is an instructional video. I just want to show you guys how to use this live stream to your benefits. So you can get the most out of it. Uh, th this live stream was created so that uh, I can quickly look at the stream to see if there's any earthquakes as well as be alerted to earthquakes. So one of the neat things about this is that when the USGS puts out earthquakes, uh, this thing will make a little noise, let you know that the USGS has indeed added to the list of earthquakes, but it also um, helps you correlate between earthquakes and what we see down here on the heliograph. Now, we have done some calculations, so this is software I wrote, and it basically calculates uh, the distance and magnitude and decides whether or not you should be able to see it down here. And we made it a little bit generous so that it would, uh, you would for sure see it if you get a red dot here. Most likely you will, if you get a red dot here, it should be correlated down here. In this case, this is a 6.2 magnitude earthquake that occurred in Ire, Peru on this line. It happened at 1211. And if we come over here, this is basically calculating when the seismic waves should be arriving at this seismograph. In this case, it says that it should arrive at 1220. So if we come down here to the 12, 12 o'clock universal time and down here to 20 and we go up and it's not exact because it is an approximate time because it's, uh, it's not an exact uh, there's a lot of refraction that occurs in the earth. So this, this isn't just an easy calculation. So I went the easy route on this, but you can see right around 1220, uh, we get the first indication that an earthquake has arrived. And here's the classic signature of an earthquake where you have the P wave arising, arriving. And then later you get the S waves arriving here and then really big quakes, shallow quakes. You'd get some really crazy squigglies out here, but, uh, here it is. So, at 1220, 12, 12 line, 20, and here's our classic earthquake thing. So that's basically a breakdown of, of how this stream works and how you can uh, not only get alerted to earthquakes if you have this running on the background on your laptop, but also uh, be able to uh, correlate them when you see it here. You can look down here and go, look at that. There's the earthquake. Now, this is actually uh, even a 6.2 6 is a pretty big earthquake, but like we've seen seismic swings that, you know, dominate the entire thing here. So while this, this, this is an impressive little earthquake here, like these traces can be significantly bigger on the screen right here. And so that's why it's kind of fun to, to have this thing running in the background because you're just going about your day and then you're like, oh, earthquake, you know, and then sometimes you hear, um, this thing actually plays three different sounds. It make, makes a little dink when it's just a small earthquake that we don't detect. It makes a, a more of a uh, louder sound. Let me see if I can play this for you. Um, over here. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not. Let's see. So here's a short. Come on. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. That's the short alert. Here is the alert. That's if we know we can detect it. And then it plays a third type of sound if there's a major earthquake in the world. And uh, so if it's above, I think I put a 7.0, which is a major earthquake, which causes a lot of damage. If there's a 7.0 earthquake, um, it'll play that sound just to let you know, like, hey, come check it out. Because you're, if it's a 7.0, this seismograph can usually detect it world, worldwide. You will probably see a seismogram. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for uh, coming by today and doing this. I hope you guys like and subscribe to this so you can follow along. And uh, if you look down in the description, there'll be actually a permanent link uh, set up to this seismogram so that you can always come back to this live stream. And I'll catch you guys on the next big quake.